everybody. Bruno from RVing TV. Today we're going to look at one of my favorite style units. It's a 2022 Shadow Cruiser 260 RBS. This is a couples unit. 26 foot trailer living space. You're about 29 feet overall. And this is a five sided ultra light construction. Some great features, painted front cap, power tongue jack, power stabilizer jacks. They've been doing that for a while. Massive storage compartments here with pull out trays, which is really nice. We even have the tire link prep package on here for tire, mo tire pressure monitoring. So you can simply buy the kit that plugs into this, put the connections on the valve stems and you're good to go. As I mentioned, all aluminum construction with plywood supports because our floors are tongue and groove plywood in here. And, and slam latch doors with a one key system, meaning all these doors are on the same key. And I apologize for some of our viewers if I say ours. I, when I walk through the trailer, it's an old habit of mine being a previous dealer when I would say our trailers. So this Shadow Cruiser has that big baggage door. And if you catch me saying ours, I apologize, force a habit from doing it for so many years. Now, great feature on this 260 is look at this awning, massive awning, full power, big LED light strip. But the real key is when you look at it, you'll notice it's almost right to the front cap and when we walk to the back here, you'll notice it's actually about three, two and a half, three feet to the back of the unit. So the, the entire unit really is just covered in awning, which is what you want when you want to sit out. Some nice features, there is a spare tire on this one. The tire's just not on here and it has the lipper ladder to go, which means you don't think you need a ladder today. It's prepped for the ladder to go kit. You can buy it from your dealer's parts area and then put it in if you change your mind down the road. This is an extended season RV, which means you can push the spring and the fall seasons a little longer uh, here in Ontario. Uh, this is an ultra light unit. This unit's gonna weigh in at about 5,600 pounds which is a really respectable weight. When I was a dealer, this was a, one of our most popular floor plans, especially for couples. The reason being you walk in and look at this bathroom, right? It's just a massive bathroom, decent countertop space. You've got the corner medicine cabinet, the traditional spot to put your towels and hang your towels or robes biggest shower in the industry with the self-cleaning shower curtain and just the attention to detail if I bring you up close right they've made it look like a nice brickwork tile work inside the shower skylight above as well and a powered fan here in the washroom big solid door for privacy and then you walk out into a very spacious living area so you have a high to bed sofa across from your main tv with led back lighting so you can sit back and just enjoy that during the day our media center is here our main switches are right here and then you have your kitchen so we have the 12 volt fridge this is a 10 cubic foot fridge nice big space so you can put lots of gear in here really good storage throughout already divided for your cutlery and when you open your cabinetry you're going to see features like residential hinges so if you're new to the rv market look for that a lot of trailers will have the little hinges here on the outside you get much more durability out of the residential hinges especially when you're talking this price point if you're going to a lower price point trailer you can live with the trailer hinges but as you get to this price point don't get fooled by someone else 
look for the residential hinges, look for the big stainless steel sink. Um, and I also like to say, look for features like doors, big wide doors. This is a 30 inch door, biggest in the industry. So it makes it easier for packing. Coming from um, an experienced RVer, I was loading up my fifth wheel the other day and I pulled because I, I changed units I pulled all my gear that was in storage sitting in a big Rubbermaid bin. And I mean, to give you an idea of size, it took two of us to lift the bin to get it through a door. A big wide door like this makes getting in and out with your gear easy. You don't want to be struggling or having to shift everything into little boxes or bags. And that's why I like to point out big doors. Nice dinette, they put in USBs here, and something to look for. You know, you walk in this unit, and sometimes in the past people would say, ooh, that's a little smaller window, because you have storage above. So many manufacturers are putting a big window to draw your eye to the window, and if you're new, you won't realize that there was no storage. Here you have storage, because you can never have enough storage in an RV, coming from an experienced RVer. Really good kitchen countertop space. Uh, under our dinettes, there are drawers to give easy access. And then as we make our way to the front bedroom, this is a king bed on a patented slide system. So it slides side to side to get in. So for example, you can see it's a little tighter here. You can push it off and pull it back so you can get in, make the bed, get changed, that type of idea. And that's why it's on a slide system and there's storage under the bed, no lifting the bed. I'll show you in a moment, you get the storage from the side. Nice wardrobes on both sides and instead of shelf like so many trailers do, they have closed storage here. You can see three big storage areas to be able to put your gear. And then as we look up, we have a vent in the bedroom. And not only a vent, but you have an emergency window with a screen and a screened opening window on this side for cross ventilation in case you're doing a bit of dry camping. And then that vent will allow the heat that's also rising to escape. Now, something I like about shadow cruisers, they've always been really smart at utilizing space that's normally dead space. And this kitchen layout, the back corner of the kitchen would normally be dead space. You couldn't get to it. So what have they done? They've used the space and opened it up here in the bedroom. So now you get yourself four drawers plus some additional shelves there and additional shelves up here and a spot to place your wallet, other items that you may not need during the night when you're sleeping. They do use solid pocket doors on all their doors for privacy. So it's just a great little feature. Also, if you're new to our Shadow Cruiser videos, you'll notice that it's a radius ceiling. So it's rounded. So you get a better aerodynamic profile, sits a little closer to the ground. And you have a dual ducted AC system. So you have two ducts to duct through the AC, getting better airflow, better cooling nice little feature. You can see they're thinking and using um, all the features. You have essentially as close to a flush floor slide as you can get in a travel trailer here and that big hide-a-bed. Uh, also from a construction standpoint I really like the tongue and groove floors that they use here. They're very sturdy. And then we have a TPO roof, so you're going to reduce your maintenance. And items like the lights being here on a control panel, so there's our awning and our cap, but even the cabin lights. One switch to turn off our lights rather than having to go and turn every light on individually. Nice little feature. Uh, 260 in my dealer past was always a great seller for couples because it's not too small, not too big. It's right in that middle range, offering lots of living space. And with its dry weight, a lot of towing vehicles able to take this out on the road. 
So this has been our walkthrough and review on the 260 RBS Shadow Cruiser. If you like the video, please click the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you as a subscriber and hit the bell. You'll be notified of new videos as they come available. For information on these trailers, visit Bella Vista at www.bellavistarv.com. They do have pricing put on there, so thank you to Bella Vista for giving us access to these units so we can bring you, our viewers, these videos. Thanks again, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us comments and feedbacks down below and we'll try to answer all your comments and if there's a certain video you want to see we'll try to get that done for you. Bruno from RVing TV saying thanks make sure you live life to the fullest and I hope to see you out in the campgrounds. Take care.